I wanted to share a revelation about hell that Jesus revealed to me. About over 30 years ago, my grandma passed away. She died from illness, from cancer. I was young at the time. I was a boy. Um, and I missed her. I was very emotional. I was very hurt because I was attached to her. I was bonded because she raised me all of my young child life. She raised me and she was affectionate. She took care of me. She loved me. And I love her as well. It was very sad. About four years ago, about four years ago, that's, uh, that is after I started, after I came to God, after I became, uh, decide to, decided to become His child. You know, when I woke up from, from asleep, God has been showing to me a lot of things. I, I've been getting, He has been giving me dreams almost every day, especially the prophetic dreams. About four years ago, I had a dream where my grandma showed up. My grandma came to me and hugged me. She hugged me. She was in tears. She was she was crying and she was she she missed me so much uh she was happy to see me i was happy to see her she cried um at that time the dream was pretty dark i couldn't see the surrounding clearly uh i wasn't even really sure where I was in that dream when I when I met her um, but now I come to realization where I where I was and what actually happened at that time when I dreamed of her by the way when she came to me and hugged me her when I hugged her her body was uh, more skeletal her her fat all that is was gone and it wasn't a complete skeleton because i was able to see her her face not clearly but i knew immediately that that was her um but her body was skeletal i mean not completely skeletal because she still had uh, muscle okay some flesh attached to the bone so it's it almost looked like as if skin was uh, was removed from her body and it was very bony uh, when I felt her bones everywhere um, it was it was creepy in a way but I was still happy to see her and, and hug her. Um, after I dreamed that and thought that um, maybe it was just a dream. You know, maybe it was, uh, I thought that it was a masquerading demon. You know, one of the demons that pretend that make themselves look like someone else. But it's actually a demon. And that's what I thought. It was just one of the demons trying to trick me like I didn't bother to ask God I, I I didn't ask God about it I thought it was just a dream but he just revealed to me today yesterday that when I asked him about he gave me this thought about asking about that about was that really my grandma so I asked Jesus was that really my grandma 
and not a demon, not a uh, masquerading demon. She, he said, no, that was real grandma. That was a real grandma that I hugged, that I met, that I hugged her. That that shocked me. I was hoping in the past when I when I thought of her, I I was hoping that that was real her, but I didn't really believe. I didn't really think that it was really her. But Jesus told me that was really her. So I asked Jesus, then where where was I then? Did did just grandma came out of came out of uh came out uh by the way she 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 is in hell. Jesus revealed to me also that that she she went to hell when she died. Uh I didn't know at the time. I thought she went to heaven. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I was hoping she went to heaven and but turned out that she is in hell. So that explains why her body was skeletal and crying. Um, I asked Jesus, where was I then when, when I met her? And he said, I was in hell. I was in hell uh, to meet her. That Jesus made arrangement so that we can meet. So, because we missed, because we missed each other so much. Jesus didn't show to me the surrounding. He gave, he put a block on my eyes and, and, and my ears so that I can't feel or hear or see the realness of hell, the, sur the environment of hell. I didn't I didn't even know. I thought it was just uh, some other place. Uh turned out that I met her in hell. She was like it was it felt like it was like in prison, like right outside the prison gate, the prison door, like in the hallway. And that's where she came, ran, she ran and came and hugged me. Um, that's what Jesus revealed to me, the truth. Uh, I was so happy to see her. But now I realize that she's in hell. I feel, I feel pitiful. I feel sorry. I feel hurt. And terrifying because I know how bad hell is. Because once you go to hell, you're doomed for life forever. There's no chance of parole. Like you, like some people get, where well, most people get parole when they s live their life when they when they're sentenced in jail in prison. But Jesus told me. That it is similar. In hell, they do have like prison, like prison like environment. Uh, you know, place where you can meet your loved ones, your people that you know, people that you are yearning to meet because you miss them so much. Those who have gone to hell, those who are in hell. Jesus revealed to me that. You can meet them. It's not like if if your one of your family members or your loved ones or your dearest friend went to hell and 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 you went to heaven. It doesn't mean that you will never be able to see them. Jesus says he can make arrangement where you can meet them. So that really that is a nice break. I mean that's that's a, that's a nice thing and grateful thing that God allows because he is the ruler, 
He is the one that makes decision and he is the one that makes exceptions. Anything he wants to do. Because he is perfect and he is holy. Um, so yeah, you can... When, when, just because somebody went to hell doesn't mean that that person will never be able to see their loved ones who are in heaven. They can meet and they can even chat, hug, kiss. Uh, you know, that's something that Jesus wanted me to share. And Jesus also showed to me, he, he revealed to me, I asked him about it. How, I didn't ask about, I didn't ask him about my grandma, what, what did she do? Why she went to hell? I didn't, I didn't want to know. And, and he didn't tell me either. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. What I care, what I, what matters is that I love her. I care for her. And that I just wish that she is in heaven, but unfortunately she is not. Uh, so Jesus showed us, yeah, he, 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 he told me that I was worried. Is my grandma being tortured to death? I mean, like, is, is she in extreme pain? You know, you know, like when you think of hell, people think that you, if you, those that believe in hell, I'm talking about those that believe in hell. When they go to hell, that they would fall right into this burning lake, magma, fire, where you get burned to death constantly and never die. All your flesh disappears and the only thing left is your skeleton. And that you, you scream to death all your life forever. That's what I was concerned, what, what I was concerned of. And Jesus told me, no, she's not in being in that level. She's not being tortured to death to this level. He says that it, hell does have many different type of punishments, many different environments, different levels, depending on the deeds depending on your deeds, what you have done on earth, uh, it's measured accordingly as God is a perfect judge. So those that Jesus find them fit in a, in a less harsh environment, more bearable environment, He does send them those people to that place where it's less harsh less terrifying um, in all degrees, in all levels, not just physical but mental, mentally as well. That there are lighter places, there are less harsh areas where people suffer a little less. I don't know by how much, I don't know. But Jesus told me, my grandma is in a place where it's more bearable. Although it will never end, the pain and torment, suffering, mourning will never end forever. But at least not being burned to death, not being, not screaming to death constantly. Because there are different levels. Jesus showed me that and they gave me some comfort. That gave me some peace. So my grandma is, is suffering, but I'm just glad that she's getting lighter, less harsh, lighter punishment. And there are many different levels. Some places much worse than what, we, what you see in this picture. Absolute terrifying. Devastating.
um, I was thankful that uh, that Jesus revealed to me these things. You know, these things you would not know unless God tells you. He reveals to people the revelation, the secrets, things that people do not know of here on earth. God will reveal to you many things, a lot of things, not just hell, but heaven or reveal to you about truth, about secrets, or, or unsolved mysteries, anything, everything, because everything matters to God. I just wanted to share that. All right, Jesus bless you.